All right, so here's the thing. We all know the Benchmade bug out. So you can see, based on the wear, that I've been using this thing for a year. Um, it's been awesome. It's done some things where I was like, huh, like, I don't need an exact knife because it's thin enough that it does it all. And probably the biggest compliment to why this bug out's so good is the steel is a tool steel called M4, which is amazing. Um, it's so good that I, like, there's no complaints. Like, M4 tool steel is the bomb. Um, the coating, it's actually holding up really good. But, just recently, I got something else, and it, it's on sale everywhere right now. It's the Wii Banter. And what this knife can do is everything this can do. And in some ways it's a bit better. The only thing that this knife has on this knife is this knife comes in S35 VN steel. All right? But this knife comes in M4. That's like the one one-up it has. You might even argue that the closing mechanism is better on this one because on this one, you can open it and fling it closed with just one hand. Whereas this one, you, you can open it with thumb stud, but you have to move the liner over to close it, and then your thumb is in the way. But the reason why that doesn't matter is this. These knives are good users, but they're not hard use. I mean, this is a hard use knife. This is a Benchmade Mini Domus. So it's been through a lot. It goes through a lot. It cuts, it scrapes, it does everything. It's awesome. The tip is amazing. This is a hard use knife. These knives are just nice little pocket knives that you can carry every day and they're convenience tools. But you see, this knife looks more threatening than this knife. And maybe that doesn't matter to a knife person or if it's just in your pocket. But if you have to pull it out and you were to pull out this knife, I don't think anyone's gonna blink twice thinking that this is anything short of not dangerous. I mean, it just looks kind of cute. Um, and it's a shorter blade. But the thing is, is that what would make a bug out equally as good is if they kept the bug out exactly the same way it is now, because it's a bench made, this is how it has to be, but they made it the same thickness as the Wii Banter, I think that would change everything. And the reason why is this extra little bit of thickness, even though these knives will have the same slicing capability, what it would do is create a little bit more confidence at the tip. And I'm always careful with the tip of this knife, and you should be with any, but let's just face it, like, you know, this and this, I bet you if this went to this thickness, there wouldn't be much of a difference. But those are just my thoughts. I mean, here's both knives. You can look at them. Um, yeah, there's the sizes. Well, I'll just put it on the table. There's the sizes. Um, here's the other side. Here is the closing action. There is it closed. There is it up. So you both have the same kind of carry clip design. Um, here's the thicknesses. As you can see, the bug out is thinner, but that's not gonna do much. Um, here's the top. The bug out has some jimping, that's not going to do too much. Um, here's it in hand. Here's this in hand. You got a bit more, but how this makes up for it is it's a little bit taller and blockier in handle, so it just fills the hand equally as good. And then, yeah, I mean, here's some action. Even just the nice opening on this 
is just awesome. And this one. And this one, the lock bar on the top is how it works. But yeah, so my thoughts are, if I was going to recommend anybody buy a knife, not only, only is this crazy more expensive, but this is way cheaper and better. <laughs> so there are my thoughts.